Starting with 15.1, the dashboard allows you to apply conditional formatting to cells that match a predefined condition. In this video, you'll learn how to highlight grid and pivot cells using different types of comparison rules. Our dashboard is already connected to the salesperson view of the Northwind database. Let's add a grid to the dashboard and bind it to the product name and extended price fields. Click the Extended Price Options button and select Add Format Rule. The following types of format rules are supported. Value, Top Bottom, Average, Icon Ranges, Color Ranges, and Gradient Ranges. OK, let's go to Value and select Greater Than. In this dialog, specify a required value and select the appearance that will be applied to cells whose values exceed the specified value. You can select a required color, a font with specified settings, or a required icon. Click OK. If you want to change the condition dynamically, you can use a dashboard parameter. Click the Parameters button on the Home ribbon tab and click Add. Let's specify the parameter type as decimal and set its default value. Then add a new rule based on an expression. In the Invoke dialog, specify the expression and choose the Created Dashboard parameter. Click OK. Now you can change the parameter value to apply conditional formatting dynamically. Let's create another format rule based on a set of colors and corresponding values. Remove existing rules by selecting Clear Rules in the Data Items context menu and sort the Product Name field by Extended Price in the descending order. Let's select Gradient Range from the context menu and choose Required Start and Colors. Click Apply. Extended price cells will be colored depending on their values. To change the number of ranges, specify a new number and click Generate Ranges. You can also change range limits to modify the format condition. Let's see how to apply conditional formatting to pivot cells. Remove the existing grid, create a pivot dashboard item, and add extended price and quantity to values, country to columns, category name and product name to rows. Create the greater than rule using the extended price context menu. Specify a required value, choose a color, and click apply to see the result. Data cells that meet these criteria will be colored. In the comma box, you can select the level to which formatting is applied. The first level applies formatting only to cells corresponding to categories. The last level applies formatting only to product cells. All levels applies formatting to the entire pivot grid, including grand total cells. You can also select a specific level to apply conditional formatting. Let's add another rule to the pivot dashboard item. Select the top bottom, top in menu item and specify a required level to apply the formatting. Choose the category name field in the apply to combo box and click OK. Formatting will be applied to the top three categories. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.